welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, take this off. Um, so today is probably the best day of my entire life because two of our horses have came home. So you've met Marley, and then we have a new one. Well, not new. Well, new to YouTube life, Albie. He's sixteen hand three. He gets very scared of balloons, so we have to put them there. But and then I'm here with my two friends, Lily and Lola, and they helped with the whole thing. So anyway, let's some presents open for them. So we have to slow down. Hello, Elsie. So, Lola, do you want to open my present for them? Or should we see if Marley will open it? Sure, yeah. Right, we'll Wait, she use the one and maybe she's like one of the smaller ones. Right? Yeah, yeah. I know what's inside this, but let's see if Marley will open it. No, he's not going to open it. Let's see if Albie will open it. None of them will open it, so I guess. Lily, do you want to open it for them? <laughs> do you want to open it? Look, here. Look. No, I don't think he likes it. Can we get... Lola, you can open it. because those are his muzzles but this one is really easy to come off and then this one is too small for him so hopefully this will fit him let's do you want to try it on okay let me just open okay well, okay and then we'll also be doing like a, we'll have a carrot and apple in one of the presents and we'll choose if he wants to graze in hand or stay in the stable okay thanks do you want to try it on mine or do you want me to first. yeah maybe that's good oh should have put down Oh, yeah, oh, it's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, do you want to try it on or should I? Okay. Um, okay, so, Marley does not like the muzzle. He does not like anything new until we obviously bribe him with some grass. But, so I'm not going to try this on him yet because it's not very fair on him. Or Albie. I don't want Albie getting gems there, eating his hay. Okay, uh, Lola, do you want to open this? Exact same present, just in small, which is not going to fit Marley, so... Okay, we have the exact same present, so we basically got two of the same thing. So, uh, yes, let's move on to the next sort of present. Um, okay, should I unwrap this one? Because I did terribly wrapping. Okay, this was the only thing I wrapped. Well, I wrapped these other two presents, but I'm not going to This is going to be their favourite. I can just tell you. This will be their favourite. Once you see what is inside this, I think you know it will be their favourite. Okay, so, see if Marley's going to want one. It's minty in there. Mm -hmm. this one? Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Millie, how are you opening? You haven't done anything. Okay, Millie's going to open this one. I think that this, this one's one for Marley. Uh, I think it's out. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Okay. So this is brand newly draped. Okay, do you think it should be for Marley or Albus? Okay, anyway. No, no, you can't eat it. No, okay. Let's put this in the muzzle. Okay. I think you guys can guess what this is. If I just put it a bit here, can you guess? Okay. Let's open this and find out. Or oh, join a dot. You can. Okay. This is the one that Lola wrapped, just, just so you all know that I'm terrible at wrapping. She's much better. Okay. Gosh. A magic brush. So... I think Marley's actually, this is a present he's actually not going to mind. If you're scared of this, Marley, this is just not you. Smell it. No. Good boy. He's not scared of it. That's good. He's got mud on him, so I'm just going to brush that up. Yeah. 
that later, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, I think this one's for Albi. Oh, good catch. Okay, so do it for my Yeah. Ignore this happy birthday wrapper, it's not his birthday. Yeah, and then ignore the happy birthday wrapping. Okay, you want to open this? Lily, do you want to open this one? Uh -oh. Go on. Go on, go on. <laughs> Look. Yeah, think we should do this. Last. Think, yeah, last. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys can definitely know what this is. It's, you know, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Should we fade this? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, it's just Marley. Should we fill it? Okay, fill it. Go. Humongous numbness. So, my mum's saying it's really nice, but where should I put it then? Should I put it on the saddle rack? Okay. So. hint of one of the presents oh just saying this is a traditional thing so marley's first owners had them who took it on and took it on and moved it and moved it on to it basically goes with marley now. it's in blue obviously you can see it's called Marley and then that one's Albus so stick it on these people it will look so nice okay, back here. okay now it is the challenge for if he wants to go back in the stable or being gross so I'll let him free not free free because he'll just go to the grass <laughs> I'll let him free with the lead rope if I've still got him and where, where, did I, oh yeah. where did I put it? Where did I put oh, the bag? Yes, okay. <laughs> it's so sticky. Shouldn't have left it in here. Done it this morning. Okay. So, just get. Okay, and I'm married to any treat so she doesn't like get that. So, the carrot and an apple. Do you think the carrot should be grazing or the apple should be grazing? Carrot. Okay, the carrot's grazing and the apple is staying stable. Okay, Molly. I think he's going to pick the carrot. He loves carrots. It's like, when I cannot get him out of the field, my mum will use a carrot. Right. Your mum, you are free. Nick, you are free. Nick, you're free. Nick, you're free. Yeah, I'm going to hate it. Maybe put one in each hand and see which one he goes for. Okay, which hand? He went for the... Was that staying stable? Yeah. yeah. You went for the stain stable. Sorry, Miles, you have to. Molly, you, you picked it. You can't. Okay, then it's Albie's turn. Uh, okay, if, if Albie chooses grazing hand, Molly's going to have to come with it. There's no way. Okay. You can have the carrot, this is not fair. Yeah. Should I keep the head collar on for now? I'm going to keep it on because it gets moody. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
him while I uh, think he's going to need a new drink. Okay, so we know this is supposed to be a welcome home party, but we thought quick Marley's really dirty, so we're going to take you through some of the brushes. It still is a welcome home party, but anyway, let's show you. So this is called a hoof kit, uh, and then there's a little brush for that fob, and then this is the bucket where you put all the mud in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the bucket here, and I'm just going to pick up his leg nice and gently oh he's quite spotless then i just pick out this with the hoover. don't worry it does not hurt him like at all so just pick out this he's very clean to be honest and then with the brush because you have to be careful not to oops sorry Molly. you have to be careful not to brush this because it will hurt so you just kind of sweep it off with this brush like that but anyway let's just keep on going so then and i like to do the back one after So first we have the magic brush, as you saw in the before, this is the new one. And then we've also got our body brush here that we just use on him. And, um, and a couple of other things in here. And right, we go. Okay, let's see you. Um, do you want to brush the horse and show them how you brush it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's take this down. Okay, do you want to get the magic brush and just brush him? And then we are on to the last two guys. So, look out. It's not that much more. I was expecting more. Like, look. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's brush him. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah, just a second. Okay, let me just Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I can... Yeah. We're going to use our magic brush, the new one that we have got. Um, so you're just going to, where the stain, where the marks are, you're just going to give a good brush and try and get them all out. Sometimes they won't come out and you might just have to... Yeah, you have to scrub them. Yeah, you might just yeah. have to use like a hose. And also on, on the legs too, so that's quite important. Okay, on to the next brush. So this is, you can either use a mane and tail brush, but in this, we have tons of tack grooming boxes and in this grooming box we have a comb so I'm going to use that okay so a comb is actually very useful so I'm going to show you what you do so meanwhile Lola is brushing him which Millie will brush him soon you just comb down and get all the knots out and when the knots are stuck you don't hurt them you kind of just brush down until there are no knots and just keep on brushing obviously his tail is quite spiky so well, it's happened. I know he won't kick me, so I'm literally... He's fine. He's totally bomb-proof. Bomb like, he sometimes bites, so I like to go around his bum more than I like to get around his thing. So, let's just carry on doing this. Okay. His tail is white. What has happened? He used to have such a grey, wonderful tail. Okay. Calm down. That's it, little man. So he says now I think all the shavings are out. That was the main thing, but it's still very spiky. Okay. 
Let's fake it. Okay. Now, um, for his mane, obviously, his mane isn't that trained. So, if you come over the other side, you'll see on the left side, his mane is just all over the place. Flip it over, which I can't. on the other side now just so i can see what so yeah you kind of just so with this he has quite a long name compared to albie's so i'm just gonna i don't want to scrape his back so you just lift up the hair simply and then you just can doing it all the way through really and you get quite good so just uh, good man okay just finish this if you have a humongous horse, I definitely recommend you do it with a step. <laughs> definitely. He's Albie. I cannot grow his mane. I have to do it with a step. I think you guys know how big he is. I'm just looking at him. He is 16 pounds growing. You can see him. He's really massive. Yeah, okay. So anyway, back on to the small one. Hey, Ted Ted. Hey, cutie. Hey, Bubbles. Okay. So I'm just getting him used to everything. As if you can see that patch, Marley rolled in that yesterday. So there it is, right there. That patch, that, that disgusting patch. Okay, I have to warm him up quite quickly because he is quite being quite small. Okay, guys. Um, sorry, something went wrong with the screen. Right now, Lola is just um holding him just because I'm videoing with the phone because I don't really want the camera on my helmet. But anyway, um, shall we video? Shall we see what it's like to trot? Lola will ride him. I'm not sure if it will be on YouTube, and she might not, but her parents are going. Okay. Good boy, okay. So, I'm trotting, guys. I am trotting. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, this is what it's like to trot him. <laughs> Feels quite weird holding, holding a phone. See? Grazing Albie. Oh, there we go. These are all our jumps and poles. Tons of them are actually in a stable, so you gonna have to move that. Um, harrower, and look, if you guys can see the bamboo growing out the arena, which we are gonna cut soon. I think, guys, I might stand up on him so you can see my view of what happens when I stand up on him. Cause that was complete, it was, limp. and stand. Thanks, now it has completely stopped raining. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit, I don't know, two seconds. So he's holding his like, yeah, it's gonna be a bit hard. So this is what it's like to stand up on him. There's a saddle, and then uh, she is okay. <laughs> okay, and then there's Millie. This is what it's like, guys. This is my point of view. My feet are down here. Come on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's walk. Come on, walk. Come on. Okay, I'm um, uh, kind of. I'm off the saddle, but I'm like. Try do a slow. Yeah. I'll do a slow. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, um, I think I'm gonna give the camera back to Lola. Okay, Lola's gonna get on Marley now. <laughs> they did a bit of a cancer, but um, Millie's a bit upset, so. Bye! She doesn't want to canter, okay. Uh, she's not gonna canter. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll trot then, okay? Come on. Get on. Yes. Okay, so she's trotting. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in two weeks.